Hey y'all, welcome back for another hunting ammo ballistics gel test. More 7mm odd 8. We've got Hornady Superformance, their 139 grain CX load. And here's your very cool looking box for the Hornady Superformance 139 grain CX load for the 7mm odd 8. Let's go ahead and flip it around to the back. There's your promo info. Feel free to stop, pause, and read that if you would like. Superformance's claim to fame is 100 to 200 feet per second faster than standard loads. We'll see how close we get to that. Let's Let's take a look at stated velocity. They're seeing 2,910 feet per second at the muzzle. Let's go ahead and pull the stuff out and take a look at it, whipping it out. And there she is, your Hornady CX load. Nice pointed tip. Let's go shoot it and see how it does. And my test rifle today is my Ruger American Gen 2, chambered in 7mm odd 8, of course. It's got a 20 inch barrel, and we are taking advantage of that threaded muzzle. Up top, we've got a Vortex Diamondback scope. And I've got it in my own custom painted Gen 1 stock. And coming on back, I've got to show you one of my handmade leather cartridge cuffs. Check out my website, masonleather.com, to get yourself one. I would love to make you one. And I've also got one of my super thick Latigo leather slings here, also available on my website, masonleather.com. If you're looking for a leather sling that'll last a lifetime, you're going to want to check these out. And coming around to the other side, I've got to show you my whitetail deer design. We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards, firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot it. And here are your velocities for that Hornady Superformance 139 grain CX load out of the 708, minimum 2854, maximum 2874 for an average of 2865. And a quick announcement, if you'd like early access to my videos weeks and even months in advance of everyone else, become a channel member. The links will be in the video description and the pinned comment. Thanks y'all. And we are down here at the blocks after shooting that Hornady Superformance 139 grain CX load out of the 7mm odd 8. If you're looking for a 7 odd 8 load that penetrates, this is definitely an option. We caught all three bullets. We got two down in the bottom of the block right there, right there, and then a third right there. All of them nice and deep. So penetration wise, our shallowest we'll call 29 inches. The other two are both at about 30 inches. That is nice and deep for a caliber like this. Looks like they expanded pretty good. They all maintain their direction of travel. Travel. Good looking stuff. Coming on back to the first block, these created some nice wound tracks, a lot better than a lot of solid copper bullets that I have seen. Look at that spiral wound track on that one right there. Looks really good and damaging. They pinhole in a little bit about the one inch mark, and that's pretty standard. Then they open up and create, I mean, I mean, quite honestly, a better wound track than a lot of monolithic bullets that I've seen. I, I don't know how to account for that. It is what it is, and here it is. And then they come on back and they taper off, starting to taper off by the nine to 10 inch mark, and then by 12, they're about done. And then they just pin trade on through and go nice and deep. So let's go ahead and dig them out and take a look. And real quick, if you're watching this video anytime around when it came out, I'm having a huge sale on my website, masonleather.com. Go check it out and get yourself something. All right, y'all, we've got the bullets out of the blocks. Let's take a look at them. The Hornady Superformance 139 grain CXs out of the 7 odd 8. Weight retention, 139 grains across the board. 100% weight retention, you can't ask for more than that. Absolutely phenomenal. Expansion, 0 0.52, 0 0.54, and 0 0.61 inches. Not too variable for an average of 0.56 expanded diameter, and that works out to 2X expansion, which is actually pretty darn good for a solid copper monolithic bullet. A lot of the time, these kind of bullets in the, you know, your standard calibers, 243, 270, 308, stuff like that, will be in the 1.7 to 1.9x range. Anytime they're 2x or more, I'm a happy camper. That's good expansion for what these are. On to velocity, our high velocity, these things, by the way, were, were kind of screaming, and they are super performance, so it makes sense. 
High velocity was 28.74, low was 28.54, so a nice tight spread there for an average of 28.65 versus the factory spec of 29.10. So we did come in 45 feet per second under factory spec on average, but note we are using a, a rifle with a 20 inch barrel. That's what I have, that's what I'm gonna use. No one provides rifles for me. I gotta buy all this stuff myself. So what I did to be able to compare these velocities of 7 8 ammo with my 20 inch barrel is I took all the 19 7 8 loads I've tested so far, not all the videos are out yet, and I compiled all the velocity data and I looked at sort of what range most of them fell into, most of the different loads across all bullet weights, and this ammo is well above that in terms of how much under its factory velocity it is. 45 feet per second under is really, really good. This stuff was going fast. If you did have a 7 on 8 with a 22 or 24 inch barrel, I think you're gonna chew that up pretty easy. So I'm extremely pleased with the velocity. And our estimated impact velocity down at 100 yards would be about 2,636 feet per second. And then penetration wise, that's where solid copper bullets shine and this was no exception. 29 inches, 30 inches, and 30 inches for an average of about 30 inches of penetration. Phenomenal, especially for something like a 7-odd-8 and 139 grain bullet. It's not necessarily something that you would, you know, make your primary, you know, bigger game rifle like elk, moose, caribou, stuff like that. But with these numbers, I think you could do it pretty easy. I wouldn't personally feel too undergunned. You put the bullet in the right spot, it's going to get to where it needs to. And that's what copper bullets are great for is that deep penetration. You trade off the expansion, you get deeper penetration. And kinetic energy wise with a 139 grain bullet going on average 2865 feet per second, we're looking at 2,533 foot-pounds at the muzzle and about 2,144 foot-pounds down there at 100 yards. And if I'm not mistaken, this, out of all 19 7 odd 8 loads I've tested, not all the videos are out, this is the most powerful one in terms of kinetic energy. Its kinetic energy numbers are way up there approaching some 308 Winchester loads. This stuff's hitting pretty hard. And I've got a note to make on that during my final thoughts here in a second. All right, y'all, it's time for my final thoughts on this Hornady Superformance 139 grain CX load out of the 7 millimeter odd 8. Really, it performed incredibly well across all metrics. I mean, as good as I could have expected it to. 100% weight retention, 2X expansion with a solid copper, excellent, excellent velocity. The stuff is going fast. If you've got a 24 inch barrel, you're definitely gonna hit that factory spec. If not exceed it, I would bet. Even with a 22 inch barrel, you might hit it. And penetration was nice and deep. That's what you wanna see with solid copper and that's what we got. Now I said I had a, something to say about the kinetic energy and sort of you know power of this ammo. And something that I noticed, if you go back and, and watch the video clips where I'm looking at the gel blocks down range after shooting the ammo, this stuff made some really, really nice wound tracks for solid copper bullets. A lot of the time your solid copper bullets don't make very explosive wound tracks. They kind of go in, make, make a little wound track and then just penetrate really deep. This stuff was hitting nice and fast and made a really good wound track up front. It's gonna do a lot of damage more along the lines of a, a standard lead and copper bullet, this stuff really kind of outperformed what it was in terms of internal damage. At least based on looking at the gel blocks, I can't line up deer and shoot them and do this, so I've gotta go off what I can. So just a fun little note there. So overall, if I was looking for a you know solid copper monolithic, you know non-toxic type bullet for my seven millimeter odd eight, and this stuff shot even halfway accurately out of my rifle, it, it would be way up there on my list. I think it performed excellent across the board. If you've used this ammo, let me and everyone else know in the comments how it did for you. And check out my website, masonleather.com, and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade, and I would love to make you something. And there are hundreds of reviews on my website, so you can see what real hunters have to say about their mason leather gear. And also, tons of photos showing all the customizable options, including name, initial, and caliber stamping, as well as wild game designs and more. Everything is handmade by me right here in the USA. I would love to be a part of your hunt through my leather gear. And it helps support this channel so I can bring you more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests and lots of other cool stuff in the future. The link will be in the video description and the pinned comment or you can just type masonleather.com into your web browser. And click one of these cards for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests.